Hi guys, I am Suprabha. In last video, we studied the basics of numerical methods and the types of numerical methods. In this video, we will study the first numerical method that is used to find out the approximate root for f of x is equal to 0. If f of x is real and continuous, then and if f of a into f of b is less than 0, then there will lie at least one root between that interval. Suppose this is a and this is b, so f of a is negative, f of b is positive. So f of a into f of b will surely be less than 0. So there will be at least one root in between interval a and b. We will see few special cases. So the first case says that if both are positive, suppose this is the interval a and b, suppose this is f of a this is f of b and both are positive. If both are positive, there may or may not lie a root between interval a and b. If root lies, it will lie in the multiple of 2. So in this interval where f of a and f of b both are positive, two roots lie between that interval. Now we had seen that if f of a into f of b is less than 0, at least one root lies. At least one means what? There may be multiple roots also. So again here f of a was negative. Here also f of a is negative. Here f of b is positive. Here also f of b is positive. Here only one root was lying. Here three roots lie between the interval a and b. There are few more special cases. These cases only conclude that the condition f of a into f of b is less than 0 wherein only at least one root lies in the interval is not violated. So we will see these steps for the bisection method. First is find a into b such that f of a and f of b are opposite in sign. It simply means that if f of a is negative f of b should be positive. Find the mid value x1 is equal to a plus b divided by 2. Now this is a plus b divided by 2. So we can assume this is x1 that is mid value. Find f of x1. So we will find f of x1. Suppose this is f of x1. If this value is positive then replace b is equal to x1. Yes this is positive. So now we are replacing x1 is equal to b. If that value is negative now you have to replace a with x1 but in this case as it is positive we are replacing it with b if it was negative we would have replaced it with a now the last repeat step 2 and 3 till f of x is close to 0 this simply means that first the interval was a b so we found out the mid value that is x1 so the new interval is a and x1 now again we will find the mid value between this interval suppose this is x2 then we have to find f of x2 suppose this is f of x2 now if you see f of x2 is negative now you have to replace f of x2 by a so the new interval will, will be x1 and x2 for x1 and x2 now again you will find out the mid value by formula x1 plus x2 divided by 2 Again you will find out the f of that value. In this way you will repeat the procedure unless and until you reach up to the approximate root that is close to 0. To understand the procedure we will just go through one example. Find approximate root of equation x cube minus x minus 4 is equal to 0. So first we will let that equation is equal to f of x. So to find out the interval we need the interval a and b to find interval let x is equal to 0 if we substitute 0 we get minus 4 we need f of 
two function such that they are opposite in signs so first we have found out f of 0 that is negative we need another function that is that is positive so we will now let x is equal to 1 and we get still we get negative sign so we will proceed further and we will let x is equal to 2 so now now this is 2 so now we can choose the interval 1 and 2 that is a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 so root at least one root lies in the interval 1 and 2 we will just plot it a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 f of a is negative f of b is positive now the second step is to find out the mid value this is the first iteration or you can call it as first approximate root x1 is equal to a plus b divided by 2 a is 1 plus 2 divided by 2 that gives 1.5 so 1.5 we'll consider this as x1 now we are supposed to find out f of x1 f of x1 is equal to substitute x is equal to 1.5 in this equation 1.5 cube minus 1.5 minus 4 if you solve this you get answer minus 2.1 point sorry 125 for x equal to 1.5 that is the mid value we are getting the function minus 2.125 that is negative if it is negative we replace it by b so the new interval is a and or you can say 1 and 1.5 so the root lies between sorry it is 2 and 1.5 because we are replacing it with a so it is 1.5 and 2 or between 2 and 1.5 now we cannot stop here because the fourth rule says that it should be close to 0. Minus 2 is nowhere close to 0. So, we will go for the second approximate root or second iteration. So, we will now find out x2 wherein here we have 2 plus 1.5. Here we have x1. Now, 2 plus 1.5 gives 1.5. 75. x2 is 1.75. Now we will find f of x2. So replace 1.5 by 1.75 everywhere. So if you solve this, you will get minus 0 0.390625. So between this interval, the mid value was x2 and f of x2 is now negative. Previously also it was negative, now also it is negative. For x1 we had replaced it with a, now x2 is, f of x2 is negative, so we will replace it by x1. So our new interval is, lies between 2 and 1.75. So still it is not that much closer to 0, so we will go for the third iteration or third approximate root let it be x3 so now it is x2 plus b divided by 2 2 plus 1.75 this is 1.875 x3 is 1.875 let us find out f of 1.875 so everywhere we'll replace 1.875 so now if you solve this equation you'll get 
जीरो पॉइंट सेवन वन सिक्स सेवन नाइन नाउ एक्स थ्री विल लाई समवेर हियर बट एफ ऑफ एक्स थ्री इज नाउ पॉजिटिव इफ द एफ ऑफ एक्स वन इज पॉजिटिव यू हैव टू रिप्लेस इट विथ बी सो द न्यू इंटरवल विल बी एक्स टू एंड एक्स थ्री दैट इज वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव एंड वन पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव विल रिप्लेस एक्स थ्री बाय टू सो रूट विल नाउ लाइव बिटवीन एक्स टू एंड एक्स थ्री सो इफ यू कंटिन्यू द प्रोसेस और इफ यू रिपीट दी स्टेप्स फॉर मोर इटरेशन एट द एंड ऑफ सिक्स इटरेशन यूल गेट एक्स सिक्स विल बी वन पॉइंट सेवन नाइन सिक्स एट सेवन एंड इफ यू फाइंड एफ ऑफ एक्स सिक्स इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फोर सेवन फाइव नाउ इफ यू सी एफ ऑफ एक्स सिक्स इट इज ऑलमोस्ट क्लोज टू जीरो सो यू कैन स्टॉप द प्रोसीजर हियर इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन स्टिल फाइंड द मोर इट्रेशन सो यूल गेट द एफ ऑफ दैट फंक्शन मोर क्लोजर टू जीरो होप यू अंडरस्टूड द कंसेप्ट थैंक यू Thank you for watching my video. Hope you understood the concept. For handwritten notes, just check out the link in video description. For any doubts and suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. There are few videos that you can refer. Guys, help us to help you. So please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.